Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to talk about the error code number 12 that you might get when restoring your iPhone in iTunes. This could happen just when you're trying to wipe it clean and restore it to factory condition or when you're performing a software update. Now I will tell you that I used to work at an Apple store at the Genius Bar for about a year and most error codes that are generated in iTunes in iTunes when you're restoring a phone are indicative of a hardware failure. Unfortunately, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but generally the entire phone does have to be replaced. If it is under the one year warranty or two year warranty, if you purchased the extended warranty, it will completely be covered by Apple. So hopefully you do have a backup of all your information. And I'm gonna talk a little gen more general about iTunes error codes here first, because I have a resource for you that you might find helpful. It's the iphonewiki.com slash wiki slash iTunes underscore errors and I'll put this link in the description of this video here on YouTube but this website lists a number of errors that you might see in iTunes and what the error usually means. Now unfortunately when we scroll down this list and we get to error 11 we just skip right into error 13. Error 12 isn't there and you know again I worked in an Apple store at the Genius Bar for a year most errors we would have to replace the whole phone however i did do my own research on this error because i know a lot of you are experiencing it and there doesn't seem to be any type of software fix even for those of you who like to jailbreak your phones error 12 means you need to replace your phone so get it to an apple store as quick as possible however you can try a couple other things first and especially if you're receiving a different error other than error 12 what you can do is you can try and restore your phone again now i know you, a lot of you have probably done this but before you do it, make sure that your iTunes is completely up to date. Whether you're using a Windows or Mac computer, you need to make sure iTunes is up to date. Also make sure that your operating system is completely up to date. So whether you're running Windows or OS 10, make sure that you've done all your software updates and you wanna go ahead and try and restore your phone. Now what you can do, I'm gonna switch over here to my iPhone, is to do a full DFU restore, which stands for device firmware update on your phone. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your phone it's probably easy to do it with the actual screen on. You're gonna plug it into your computer via USB and open up iTunes. Then you're gonna hold both the home button and the top sleep wake button on your phone at the same time. Make sure before you do this that you back up all of your content if you haven't already. If you're in the restore mode on your phone and it says connect to iTunes at that point, unfortunately there's no way to extract that data. That data is already gone. But what you wanna do with this DFU restore is you're gonna hold both of these buttons on your phone until the screen goes black. And then when it goes black, after about three seconds, let go of the top one and continue to hold the home button until you see a message on your iTunes on your computer that says that your phone is in recovery mode. From there, go ahead and try to restore the phone like you probably have already tried. If you receive an error message like error 12 or a different one, it means that there's a hardware problem that's come to light when trying to restore that phone and it just can't be restored. So take it to an Apple store as quick as you can. Hopefully it's under your warranty and they will replace it for free. Again, I hate to be the bearer of bad news in this video, but hopefully it will at least stop you from continuing to search all of the forums in hope of some magical answer because Unfortunately, at this point, you're just going to have to bite the bullet and hope that you're under, this, under the one-year warranty. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more technology tips and tutorials. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.